Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So t today, this video is going to be really great because um, I purchased the full version of my screen capture program. So no more watermark and unlimited video record time. So that's going to be really great for the future and for this video. So today, I'm going to talk about, um, and this is part two of tips and tricks in Roblox Studio building. So. Um, yeah, uh, let's get started. So um, today I'm going to kind of mesh um, what I do in uh, when I develop Gem Hunt Adventures. I'm going to mesh that with some building and building tricks and stuff. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to start out on this page. This is Google Drive. In case you haven't heard of it, basically it allows you to work on projects and a whole bunch of other stuff. You get a backup files to the internet, so in case you lose stuff on your computer, you can do that. And you can also uh, work on projects together with other people, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now with Gem Hunt Adventures. We have our, a Roblox group, Spirited Productions, which um, that is our team which works on these projects. And Gem Hunt Adventures is our focus right now. So uh, what I do when I first uh, when I feel like working on Gem Hunt Adventures is I actually, when I go to the this little button right here, this Windows Explorer button, and then I click on Google Drive, and when you install Google Drive, it, uh, what it does is it puts this little, um, this folder in your favorite, so you can just click on that, and then I go to Spirited Productions, and then I find Gem Hunt Adventures, and then this is our latest version, and, um, uh, let me tell you what this means. So we call it Gem Hunt Adventures underscore, and then we put the version name or the version number, I should say, another underscore, and then whoever edited that version. So SNU is short for Spirit NU. We each have our own little tag, is what we call them. That's what I call them anyway. And it's like three or four letters long, uh, just so you can do that. So I know this was edited by Spirit NU, and so yeah. So what I do is I click on that. Oops. I click on it, Control C to copy it, um, go back to this Ethan folder, and then Control V. Let's see. Oh, wait, cancel. I already um, have this uh, version on my computer, but I'm going to delete this just to show you what I do exactly. I'm going to delete this as well. Okay, so this is what I do. Um, I normally, yeah, so I, uh, I hit Control V to paste that copy that I copied just a second ago. And then what I do is I just double click on that to open up Roblox Studio. Voila. Okay, and now I see what uh, where Spirit and you left off, which is really cool. Um, it's just such a fun thing to me to see to see this to be able to experience. Um, like I, I you know I left off in the place that he did, so it's really cool to me. So this is what he did. He looks like he created um, some islands we actually did talk about this before I was talking to him on Minecraft I was like uh, you should do um, like a jungly area and he's like have you seen avatar I'm like like the blue people avatar or the last airbender avatar and he's like the blue people avatar and so uh, he he's like you know the floating jungle islands I was like yeah he's like that'd be awesome so we're like yeah that was that would be awesome so yeah that's what he did so he's making a bunch of floating islands, and this is going to be one of the worlds in in Gem Hunt Adventures when it becomes fully playable. <clears throat> so now what I do is I go ahead and go over here. So now, um, finally, uh, um, before, let me talk about what I was doing in my previous video in Tips and Tricks in Building in Roblox Studio. So. I was talking about, um, I first I built a boat, or I didn't build it, it was already built, but um, I fixed a boat that had some problems with it that wasn't making it work. And I also talked about how to save files on your computer. Um, so now, once you, have save, once you have those places saved to your computer, it doesn't mean you can play them yet. So in order for um, people on Roblox to play them, uh, what you have to do is you have to click on file right up here and then publish to Roblox as and then what you're gonna do is find 
the game that you want to publish it to. These are all my games. Um, I used to have Builders Club, but then it expired, and these are all the games that I had on it. But uh, this is my current active place right now, this Gem Hunt Adventures thing, obviously. So I'm going to click on that. And it updates it. So now people will be able to play Gem Hunt Adventures on their own computer. So uh, one thing I wanted to fix that I, um, I was going to do... Oh, wait. One more thing, actually. I was asked to um, show you guys how to enable dynamic lighting. So all you have to do is make sure you have your Explorer and Properties, um, Property Windows open. And what you do is you click on Lighting and Explorer. And then you have all the lighting's properties right here. So what you want to do is make sure that Global Shadows is checked. Um, if you uncheck it, it just makes it normal. Check it, it makes it so dynamic lighting is enabled. And then um, it, at first it might seem that um, it's not very dark. And that's because um, I think by default the ambient is normally this color so what you need to make it well this is probably not the default color but this is what spirit and you set it to probably because it's kind of hard to build in the dark uh, so yeah sometimes when you're building you might want to set the ambient back to a higher light level but yeah so I'm gonna make this darker um, so that I don't forget to do this later and I had a little purplish color before Maybe let's lean towards blue a little more this time just to see what it's like. And it's nice and dark now, so... Sweet! Uh, then, what we do... Let's see... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. That's what I was going to do. I was going to come over here and um, fix this. Because before, uh, right now, in order to get across this ravine and get into the cave, you have to buy a speed potion from Hillbilly Jenkins and then jump across the ravine but I don't want that I want the players to be able to either buy a speed potion and get across the ravine more quickly or to be able to go on a more difficult obstacle course and be able to do that um, instead of having to buy a speed potion and I'll probably decrease this, the price of speed potions as well they're kind of expensive they're 50 coins so either I'll make it so you can gain coins more easily or I'll um, do that decrease the price of speed potions so yeah there we go let's also do this as well so now the player should be able to because before uh, the player would not be able to make this gap without a speed potion and I don't think they could make this one either so now um, yeah, let's do this a little more awesome and then there was one other fix that I wanted to do which was over here um, the players could not um, make this jump right here. It's kind of dark uh, to see. It's even dark for me. That's why you might want to turn the ambient up just like this. Uh, let's make sure. So the value is about 77. So let's go like that. Awesome. Whoa. Now it's all pink and bright. It's all right. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we need to fix this gap. And let's just make that smaller just like that. So then the players will be able to jump across the thing right here. I don't know if they can make this jump either, so let's just be safe and do that. <clears throat> awesome. I'm sorry if the quality of this video is... like The quality should be pretty good right now, uh, but um, it's still pretty hard to see, even for me. So then the players can jump across and ah, come out into the open sunshine and there will be a cosmic gem waiting them up here and that'll be that'll be awesome all right so uh, normally I work on the place a little bit more um, but or here no let's just keep it like that so um, but just for uh, I don't want this video to get too long and boring so um, oh I just realized I forgot something um, Oh, we're good. Okay. So, normally I save often, so I, you just hit Control S to save. Um, this is something I forgot to do this time. What you want to do is hit File. This is what I do anyway, and then Save As. And then Gem Hunt Adventures Local. So, I'm going to overwrite that. And the reason I do this is because if I save it on. Oh, wait, no, never mind. 
I'm really confusing myself right now. I'm sorry. It's just kind of complicated, but um, uh, I'll try and explain it because it might be worth it. I don't know. <laughs> so um, I want to make sure that the file version that I have is correct. So uh, if I take Spirit and use 1.9.5 version and I put it on my computer and then I save over it with a different change, then I think that's 1.9.5 and that is not 1.5. 1.9.5, the version number I mean, but um, so it, even though it's not that big of a deal, it's still important to avoid confusion and be able to uh, understand which versions are correct. So I may have actually saved over that, and that was not good. Um, so I'll just delete it, and then um, it it won't matter anyway. So I've made all the changes I want to now. I'm just going to hit Control S to save one more time, and now I'm going to. Uh, let's see, save as, and now I'm going to save it as my version. So what I do is I keep that underscore and I call it 1.10 since the previous one was 1.9.5. Um, actually it'll be 0. .6 because I'm, I did make some fixes. Before the players were not able to jump across a couple of things. Um, so if, if it's a fix, then this is how we do it. If it's a fix, then the third the third decimal place goes up. If it's an addition, <clears throat> then the uh, then the second decimal place goes up. If it's if it's like good enough to showcase, then that one the first number goes up. Uh, it's kind of complicated, but um, if you want to read more about if you want to join our group, you'll have to learn that. But it doesn't even matter right now for you if you don't even care. Uh, that's just something I would talk about. Uh, sorry if I've made this video a little bit boring so far, but uh, it's been a little bit tedious for me as well. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, so I save it like that, 1.10.6, because because it was both a fix and an addition because I added that little block, and I don't know. So I'm going to save that to my computer, and then I'm going to copy that version. If, let's find it here. Gem Hunt Adventures 1.10.6. So I control C to copy that. Go back to Google, Google Drive, Spirited Productions. By the way, uh, um, this is just kind of what I do for fun. Um, this isn't something you need to learn. And then you go to Gem Hunt Adventures, right click, paste. Awesome. Oh, you know what? Actually, I gotta rename that. So let's rename it. Um, uh, because I have to put my initials on it. 1M0. That's something I forgot to do. And so if we go over here, uh, it shows awesome. So it just updated. So I put the Gem Hunt Adventures <clears throat> place in here, and then it also changed the name once it updated that. So now I'm going to um, now that I'm finished with this, exit out of Roblox Studio, and now I'm going to drag Spirit and Use version to the older versions folder and move. Awesome. So finally, I go to the update notes and then say what I put. Um, do what I changed in there, so I'm going to do enter, enter, and then I make sure that's the correct version, or it's 1.6, 10.6, alright, and another fun thing is when you're using Google Drive, uh, if, if Spirit and you were to jump in here and, um, and start working on this, we would both be able to see each other's changes at the same time. So you get to work in real time. You can like write a song or something together, like even though you're all the way across the world. So that's pretty cool. So what I did was I, um, let's see. So uh, Ravine World, and then I'm going to going to do that um, side of mountain obstacle course. Alright, so I just thought I'd pause the video and write that down. So, I don't know, we probably can't, or yeah, let's do a colon. Okay, so that's kind of the day in a life of working in uh, Gem Hunt Adventures, as well as a couple of tips and tricks in script, um, building in Roblox Studio. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah. I'll see you all next time.